www.lucheddmba.com. This is John's reports for the 31st of May, and well, I told you to be ready for it when it happened that, you know, set little pumps, despite the fact that we were in this weakened configuration, would not necessarily hold, and sure enough, uh, we've meet, well, right there, 2762, we went uh, below it, we're literally right there, so uh, we had a little downdraft through it, but right in line with our expectations, so I think that that's uh, pretty clean. All intents and purposes, sure, everyone's going to say it's the news, um, Mexico tariff by Trump. It's all, they always said there's always a reason when we already had the signal. So there were some people that already knew this was going to take place, and they were pre-positioned back over here. And now the news comes out, and, oh, everyone gets a little shocked, but it's already been evaluated and expected. So it doesn't quite have the same... Uh, drama. Um, of course, that's helping the euro, but we expected the euro to come back and retouch the low. It did do that and actually uh, didn't quite make the new low. Uh, I think that if we hadn't had the uh, tariff announcement, you might have seen that uh, break a little bit lower, but uh, can't expect it to move all that dramatically. It's not in the buy yet, but this nice stabilization for it is helpful if you like euros. And from a gold standpoint, so a little bit of this started to get a defense play because we had the buy configuration coming through. We were looking for this crossover of the uh, green over to the cyan, meaning that midterm buyers were overtaking shorts. The continual rise in red DOC, that was enough to start pushing it all the way. We are reaching that point though where we've met gold, azure, and now blue is about to meet there. So I would think that you really need to see a major push out of this. Otherwise, um, it could be short-lived. And looking at the chart, well, how beautiful was this? So we'd been in that nice continuation move, beautiful DOC spread there from the 5K, right up at the algo level of the 2793, which we know we had the daily from a 62. We also have this 52 marker from an intraday one from, uh, well, a little ways back. Um, but it was nice, mixed action, even uh, some of the nice little pops coming off from the bottom. But every time they got right around the 50% mark, Boom, you're getting DOC spreads and you weren't getting red DOC above zero. Uh, the closest power move came right through here. This one actually looked like it was going to produce the uh, strongest move and it was doing pretty well. And I think that's when the surprise issues came through um, because you had the brief pop up right here, still breaks down. And then boom, once it hit that 50%, yeah, you gotta be uh, saying cha chicha. And, uh, sure enough, that led to the breakdown and subsequently every little attempt at uh, soft buy from there just doesn't have uh, enough to uh, build some momentum. I can't even get to 50% at this particular point. And right now, stabilizing down at the 23, you can see we've got some serious oversold within these configurations. So these pops, you know, if you're buying down at the near the 0%, it's not a big deal because you know you're going to get a play likely to the 23, uh, The you know, Middle road, you can do also the. I usually will look for the distance between the two and take maybe like the 45% level of that or just under the halfway mark uh, as an opportunity to mitigate uh, further breakdown, especially when you're dealing with uh, well below negative 13.5. But again, we look for that crossover of, uh, yellow over magenta plus two and a half on the spread while still having the histogram below the negative 13.5. Those tend to have a little bit more. Of tone, so we're in the process of that one right now. It's hitting 23%. All good from our standpoint. Um, I'm expecting uh, some nice volatility going into the new month now. I was thinking it might calm down a little bit in June, but I think we may see some actual fireworks. So that's exciting stuff going for uh, uh, the beginning of summer months. So look for your indicator renewals uh, email, and I'll be sending those out probably um, Saturday. Um, late Saturday your time that way they'll be ready for uh, Sunday futures uh, for Hong Kong open for those that like to trade the Far East as always though trade well and we will talk again later